Hello, we are going to help some of our number of friends who want to join a parade, but they are all standing in the wrong order. Let's help them line up from smallest number to greatest number. Are you ready? So the first three numbers are 4, 2 and 7. Can you tell me which is the smallest and which is the greatest so that we can put them in line? Let's see. When I start counting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you can see 2 came first and after that came 4 and 7 came at the last. So the number that comes first means that is less. That means it's the smallest. And the number that comes last is the greatest. So here 2 is the smallest, 7 is the greatest and 4 comes in between. So if we arrange them from smallest to greatest, the order becomes 2, 4 and 7. Now number 6 also wants to join. Where should 6 go? Let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you can see 6 came after 4 and before 7, which means 6 is more than 4 but less than 7. So our new order becomes 2, 4, 6 and 7, all in line. Now number 11 wants to join. Where does 11 come in? Let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then comes 8, 9, 10, 11. So you can see 11 came after all the numbers 2, 4, 6 and 7. That means 11 is the greatest of all. New order becomes 2, 4, 6, 7 and 11 where 2 is the smallest and 11 is the greatest. We'll try with a different set of examples now. We have 3, 15 and 9. Can you guess which is the smallest and which is the greatest? So if I'm counting in my head, 3 comes first, 9 comes after that and 15 comes at the last. That means 3 is the smallest and 15 is the greatest. So the order becomes 3, then 9 and then 15. So what did we learn? A number that comes first when we count is the smallest. And the number that comes last is the greatest. So when we have to order the numbers, we'll think about which number comes first and which number comes last and then line them up from smallest to greatest.